winds in Mallorca with storm clouds rolling across Palmer Bay meant a day of full-on drama at the 45th Trofea Princesa Sofia. This gave the Olympic classes that didn't race yesterday a chance to catch up with their schedule and flex their sailing muscles. Both the RSX men's and women's fleets were early on the start line. Big swells and gusts up to 16 knots made it a physical challenge for these athletes, arguably the fittest in the field. In the men's fleet, Greece's Byron Kokolanis, reigning European champion, has been battling neck and neck with Frenchman Pierre Lecoq all week. Although the Frenchman had a bad first race today, he had a great comeback in the second to retake the overall lead. In the third and final race of the day, Kokolanis finished fifth with Lecoq two spots behind. So the glamorous Greek takes back the lead. Only six points separate the top six in this class, so the situation is tight. It was a similar story in the women's fleet, although it was China's Pina Chen battling it out with French Olympian Charlene Picon. Both Picon and Chen have stable results in the top 10, but it's Picon with more results in the top five compared to Chen, who seems to be taking riskier decisions. Today, Picon was clearly more prepared for the windy conditions and started strongly with a bullet and a second, while Chen was struggling further behind. Picon managed to get the yellow jersey for tomorrow with a safe lead from Chen, who has British Olympian Bryony Shaw just four points behind. Shaw didn't have her best day, seeing the gap from the girls chasing her close dramatically. Over on the Delta course, the laser radials were having trouble starting their second race of the day, with the fleet rushing the line and jumping the gun several times. This shows just how far up the competitors were. The wind then shifted dramatically, and after heavy rain, it started to ramp up to 20 knots. Marit Balmister, the Dutch civil medalist from the London Games, had no problems keeping her top spot on the leaderboard. Her worst score, which she can discard, is a seventh, so she's on superb form and running away with it overall. The windy conditions shuffled the results for the rest of the fleet, though, and it was time for the Belgian Olympic bronze medalist Evie van Acker to recover from a bad start during the first days of the event. She scored two bullets today, which rockets her up to third place overall. Sailors in the gold fleets have one more day tomorrow to make the top 10 medal race cut for the big showdown finale on Saturday. So the pressure is really on now. We'll have all the action coming up. Do stay with us.